Hola, hola! Welcome to Learn Spanish World. My name is Mr. Briggs. I'm a Spanish teacher and I upload videos every week. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to do so. And that way, you will be learning Spanish with us every week. Today, we've got a very interesting topic. Chilenismos. We are going to cover the 10 most common words in Chilean Spanish. So if you're moving to Chile or visiting Chile, this video is specially for you. But even if you're not, it is always good to enhance your Spanish vocabulary. Número uno. This word is probably one of the most common Chilean Spanish words. Weón. Weón can mean so many different things. Mate, friend, idiot. The word weón has even been recognized by the Real Academia Española. The Royal Spanish Academy in Spain is Spain's official royal institution with a mission to ensure the stability of the Spanish language. According to the Real Academia Española, weón is a despective, vulgar word. Weón is an adjective, is despective and vulgar. It can also mean imbecile, idiot, somebody lacking intelligence. However, in Chile, incredible as it may seem, weón can be used in a friendly manner. Come over here, weón. Come here, mate. From the time you step in Chile, you will be hearing the word weón every day. Okay, let's move on. Número dos. Number two. Tranqui. Tranqui is an abbreviation for tranquilo. Tranqui, calm down. Take it easy. Tranqui. This word can also be used in conjunction with the previous one. Tranqui, weón. Calm down, mate. Número tres. Number three. Número tres. Number three. Bacán. Bacán means cool. That is bacán. I love this guy. He's bacán. He's cool. This movie is bacán. Número cuatro. Number four. Filo. Filo contigo. Which literally means, I don't want to have nothing to do with you anymore. Filo. Filo. Filo contigo can also mean, I had enough with you. The hell with you. Filo. Which also means something sharp. It also means something that you don't care about anymore. And you can use this word, filo, when you don't want to keep hearing something unpleasant. If somebody says filo with you, they mean they don't give a damn anymore. This word was very popular, particularly in the 80s. There was a song that made it very, very popular. It was, it was especially used among young people, and it's still very popular. Número 5 Number 5 The word al tiro. Al tiro means immediately, right now. Al tiro. Now, keep in mind that this word is basically used only in Chile. Al tiro, it's a very Chilean expression. And it's related to tiro, shooting. Número 6. Number six. The next word is also one of the most common ones in Chile. Cachai. Cachai simply means, do you get it? Do you understand? Do you comprehend? Cachai. Do you get it? Cachai is a very common everywhere in Chile. It should be one of the first words that you learn. Número 7 
Number 7 Po Chileans tend to add a po at the end of many sentences. Po This is mainly used to add emphasis. Po Cachai po? Do you get it? Po? Numero 8 Number 8 The next word is also in the top 10 of Chilean words of most used words in Chilean Spanish Fome Oh, don't be fome Fome means boring When something is fome that thing is boring Oh, la película es fome The movie is boring Número 9 Number 9 Number 9 Cuático 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 means something that something is funny in a funny way Excuse the redundancy Cuático can also be weird That guy is cuático Weird when someone is cuático, you could be saying that person is a bit of a drama queen. Número 10. Number 10. Buena. Buena literally means good one. Buena. It derives from the word buena, which means good. Flightes or Chilean bogans would say buena instead of buena. Now we'll move to sección número 2, section number 2. Número 2, typical expressions. We are going to be covering some typical Chilean expressions that you should know before going to Chile. No arrugues. No Arrugues, which means failing to keep your word, to change your mind in the last minute, basically to chicken out. Oh, you told me you were gonna come with me. No arrugues. Hagamos una vaca, which literally means let's make a cow. This is used when we're talking about collecting money, usually for a party usually for a party or to do something fun. Everybody contributes something. Siguiente expresión. Next expression. Pon un pichintún. Pichintún means literally a little tinge of something. Just put a little bit. Pichintún. Just put a pichintún of salt. Tirar a la chuña. Tirar a la chuña means throwing something in the air so others can pick it up right away. Example, throwing money a la chuña. Oh, this guy is throwing money a la chuña. Everybody, get some money. Soy avispao. To be smart, quick, smart. So, in this case, it's using chili as you are. So, if you say, soy avispao, soy avispao, you literally say, you are too clever. Soy avispao. Oh, this one is a classic. Vale callampa. When something or someone is worthless. Oh, oh, that car vale callampa. That is just a lemon, a really bad car. Vale callampa. Pololear. Pololear, to go out with someone in a romantic manner. Boyfriend, pololo. Girlfriend, polola. The action of going out, pololear. Kawin. Kawin simply means messy gossip or slander. It's an indigenous word that derives from Mapuche language, Mapundu. Kawin. Oh, here he comes with his Kawin again. 
Oh, I don't want to hear any Kawin. I don't want to hear any gossip. Siguiente. Anda ser tuto. This is very common among little children. Anda ser tuto means go to sleep. Tuto. Sleep. This is typical baby talk in Chilean Spanish. Hace tuto. Pásala chancho. Have a great time. This expression became very popular in the mid-90s in Chile. Pásala chancho. Have a great time. Quédate ni. That literally means, how old are you? And it derives from the proper sentence, ¿Qué edad tienes? However, some Chileans can easily say, ¿Qué edad tení? Instead of, ¿Qué edad tienes? Está curado. He's drunk. Está curado. Curado, in Chilean Spanish, means drunk. Curao in Chilean slang means drunk. Copete. Copete means alcoholic beverages, grog, etc. Copete. Usually youngsters when they go out, they go for a copete. Flaite. Flaite is an unsophisticated person regarded as being of low social status. A riffraff. A bogan. Flaite. Muy bien, queridos amigos. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. You will help my channel to continue growing and helping produce more videos for you. Soon, We'll have more videos discussing other types of Spanish variations. Subscribe, and that way you won't miss out next time I upload a video. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you so much once again. My name is Mr. Briggs. I'm a qualified Spanish teacher, and I upload videos every Friday in order to help you learn Spanish. Muy bien, queridos amigos. Ahora me despido y les deseo un muy bonito fin de semana. Have a beautiful weekend. Adiós, amigos. Take care, cuídense.